Brienne of Tarth is one of the most formidable characters in A Song of Ice and Fire. In the books and the show alike, she bested Jaime, and in the show, she bested Sandor Clegane, the Hound. But just how good is she? And do these fights indicate that she's better than Jaime and Sandor? Long story short, she's very good. She is not better than a healthy two-handed Jaime, and it is debatable whether or not she is better than the Hound. It's safe to say that Brienne and Sandor are relatively equal. Let's take a look. Brienne won the melee at Bitterbridge against 116 knights in the show and the books alike. In the show, she killed two members of Renly's Rainbow Guard, three Stark men, three Knights of the Vale, and three Bolton men. In the books, she overcomes a Gaelor when escaping River Run with Jamie, kills Shagwell, Timian, and Pig with the help of one of my favorite characters, Podrick Payne, who hits Shagwell in the head with a rock. And towards the end of Feast for Crows, she kills Rorg before nearly getting killed by Biter. It's also worth noting that in the books, there's a cool scene where her and Jamie are being chased by boat by Rob Stark's men. It's a dire situation as there are over 20 people in the chase boat. But Jamie notes that Brienne remains calm and determined, never desperate. So she sails around a bend in the river, runs up on top of a hill, and pushes a boulder off onto the boat that was chasing them. It's a really cool scene that they should have included in the show. At another point, she gets shot in her leg and her back by arrows, and it appears to Jamie like she did not even feel them. She's really tough. We also learn that she's as strong as most knights and has two advantages over men. First, men usually underestimate her because she's a woman. And second, she has really good fighting stamina. So yeah, she's pretty badass in both stories. I saw a really good analysis on Reddit that estimates Westeros as having 40 million people. An argument can be made that Brienne is in the top 1% of 1% of 1%, that she's top 40 or one in a million. But so are people like Jamie and Sandor. So how does she stack up against them? Let's start with Jamie, since this one is easy. Jamie and her fought, and she won. What makes it even more impressive is that Jamie was trying to kill her, but she was only trying to disarm him, which is probably a similar situation to Jamie fighting Ned, since Jamie did not want to kill Ned Stark, despite what he said to Tywin Lannister, because Tyrion was held hostage at the time. But adrift, here's the key to this analysis. A lot of people overlook the fact that Jamie's hands were shackled, and he was very malnourished. He had been a prisoner of war for months. This is very clear in the books. When they were leaving River Run, his legs were weak. He needed help getting up the stairs. When he cleans himself later in a river, before their duel, he does not recognize his own reflection. He thinks to himself that he looks five years older. His face was thinner and there were hollows under his eyes. His hands were thinner and paler and his legs were unsteady beneath him. Before they fight, Brienne tells Jamie that she's as good as him, that she was one of Renly's chosen seven. But in the future, Reflecting back on the fight, she notes that he was gaunt and weak, yet it had been close. And check out this second quote. This is the money shot. Quote, Brienne remembered her fight with Jamie Lannister in the woods. It had been all she could do to keep his blade at bay. He was weak from imprisonment and chained at the wrist. No knight in the Seven Kingdoms could have stood up against him at his full strength, with no chains to hamper him. Jamie had done many wicked things, but the man could fight. His maiming had been monstrously cruel. It was one thing to slay a lion, Another to hack his paw off and leave him broken and bewildered. That quote pretty much wraps it up. This isn't a Jamie video, but with all due respect, if you don't consider Jamie one of the best swordsmen in the history of Westeros, then you're mistaken. There's an interview where George R. R. Martin literally says, quote, healthy, two-handed Jamie, one of the great swordsmen in the history of Westeros. But comparing her to Sandor is a little trickier. Personally, I give Sandor a slight edge, but I can't argue if you give her a slight edge. They do not fight in the books, but here's an interesting thought that Jamie has at one point. Quote, he had to laugh at such fierceness. She's the hound with teats, he thought, or would be if she had any teats to speak of. So you're probably wondering, how can I say this? How can I say that Sandor has a slight edge since we saw her beat the hound? Well, they fought once. Any fan of combat sports will tell you that much bigger flukes have happened. A single fight says nothing. Moreover, just like Jamie when he fought Brienne, the hound was injured. People often forget this. In the show, Biter bit him in the neck. He tries stitching it up, but he refuses to let Arya cauterize it since he's afraid of fire. On the walk to the Vale, you should have let me burn it. Arya notes that Sandor is walking a little slower than usual. That flea bite's got you walking a lot slower than you used to. So when he fought Brienne, he was far from 100%. And in addition, she had a Valyrian steel blade, and he nearly killed her. Props to them both, though. They're both very badass. Nowadays, Brienne would probably smash either of them since Jamie's missing his sword hand and Sandor has a busted leg. 